speaking to reporters at the first palm oil supply and demand outlook conference, she said this would ensure a smooth process of negotiations as it involves international lawyers. Because to make it uh, easier to do, because we using a lawyer, yeah, international lawyer who working there to make them easy to work. Because, because if they're working in two countries, they have to come here to com, conform to the Malaysia and then come to Indonesia and then so to make them easy. Lawyers from the EU will come to Indonesia in early November to have a discussion on the case. Muchalifa said that the Indonesian government has developed the documents of position to challenge the EU. On June 10th this year, the EU Parliament passed the Delegated Act to restrict and ban palm oil biofuel by 2030, which palm oil producers such as Malaysia and Indonesia considered as discriminatory. Meanwhile, Minister of Primary Industries, Teresa Koch, in her speech at the conference said the EU Delegated Act, which limited palm oil use in biofuels, would continue to cast a bearish sentiment in the international palm oil market because of the negative publicity on palm oil and prices will be affected negatively. She said both Malaysia and Indonesia are committed to challenge the act by the end of this year. Asked to comment on reports that the Indian government plans to restrict imports of Malaysian palm oil and instead source it from Indonesia, Muchalifa said as far as government-to-government -government communications, Indonesia hasn't received any requests from India concerning a change of tariff on palm oil imports. It was reported that India Solvent Extractors Association in a press release advised members not to buy palm oil from Malaysia. India is the largest buyers of palm oil from Malaysia, totaling 3.91 million tons for January-September period.